All right, my name is Jan Zach, and this is the Fuzzy Kilt. This is a 2002 Ford F-150 pickup truck that I am going to offer for sale. Um, I'm going to show you how I have it set up, and I'll talk about the few things that will be included uh, with the sale. Um, otherwise, here we go. You'll notice uh, there's a dash cam. I got to keep that with my new vehicle. Um, it's not installed. It's just hanging there. Um, there's just minimal minimal body damage. I'm going to walk all the way around the truck. This little dent here. Um, nothing wrong here. We're losing some of the um, top coat or whatever that is on the topper. They told me they could repaint it and stuff when I had it resealed and um, I just hadn't gone to that expense yet. Let's walk around to the other side. I will try not to make you dizzy. Apologize, I don't have a gimbal. You can see some of the top coat coming off these fiberglass pieces too. Um, but I did do new, these are those projection, projection headlights. They are awesome. They told me they would fit my truck. They don't fit exactly, but they haven't fallen off and I've gone all the way to California and back with them. So, and I'm in Tennessee. So there's a couple of dings here. Again, this is where somebody's door hit it. I haven't tried to buff it out. This mirror is cracked just a little bit, but it's still, you know, not too bad. You can still see everything out of it. I had uh, limousine tint put on these back windows so you couldn't see stuff inside. Here again, a little bit more top coat damage up there, but otherwise not much body damage here. The tailgate, which I'll show you at the end, has a couple of dents in it and I'll explain <clears throat> about that. Inside the passenger side, I have this tabletop that you do not have to put in here, but it'll come with the truck. It extends all the way up in case you have to move the table, the chair back. Um, underneath, I've got this cool desk kind of thing. It's got this rubber top on it and you can drop things in it. I use it to keep my sunglasses like a big glove box because you can't get to the glove box very well. That's a tent that I, uh, not a tent, but a sleeping bag that will not come with the vehicle, but I keep it there. And then this blank spot right down here is where I put my laundry bag with my laundry detergent and stuff like that. Right back here, I have a knockoff refrigerator. See if I can get the name of it for you. I can't read that, but maybe you can on the video. It's on right now. I don't have anything in it. Oh, I have my buckets. I have my uh, buckets in my egg thing, but it has two compartments. It'll hold a boatload of food. It has saved us several times because our house fridge went out. This is a clothes changing tent. It is the Wolf Wise. It has vents and things. You can look that up on Amazon. I'll try to give you a link. Um, back here are my Jackery, my Jackery um, 100 watt solar panels. They fit. I've got the seat folded up back here and they just slide right back down in there. Then just beyond this, I have my Jackery 500 battery and I keep the fridge plugged into it and I keep it plugged into my power ports up there. There are two power ports. So I keep my camera plugged into one and I keep the Jackery battery plugged into one and I keep my phones and everything plugged into the Jackery battery while I'm driving so that I don't have to have all that wire stuff up front. This is my trash can and I keep trash bags underneath that one bag. This is my go-to first aid kit. It was a lunch box, but it's perfect for this truck. I've got wet wipes. I got everything you need in there. Um, I usually carry two of these buckets. I got it at Home Depot. It's a, uh, a laundry basket that'll collapse flat. It's got a hard bottom on it. And I usually put my clothes in one. And then in the other one, I put my dry foods, my bread and my cookies and chips and you know, um, maybe some canned goods and stuff in it. And depending on which one is heavier and which one doesn't have squishy stuff in it, I'll stack them on top of each other as I drive. I also have a hanging bar if I want to hang something, which I rarely do. Okay, let's move to the back. I'm gonna go around the other side and let you see the floor where I have the fridge. You'll have to forgive my freshly mown lawn. Best purchase ever, just saying. I made this flat piece of wood. It goes all the way across and I've cut it out for all of these little bumps and things all the way across. The seat will still lay down, if I can get it to lay down. 
as you can see you just have no floor space but there's a good reason for that because underneath here this big black thing right here are all the subwoofers and speakers and whatnot that go to this pioneer stereo now it's a few years old it's probably 10 years old 11 years old maybe but man it'll it'll beat you out of here if you're not careful down in this little cubby hole i carry things like my umbrella my these are uh there's the brand name on them um it's a uh, tarp poles and also my uh, trucking poles are in that bag um this little guy right here is a windshield screen that you put on the outside if it's gonna snow or ice or snow <laughs> i'd say don't put it out if it's gonna ice because you'll never get it unstuck from your windshield so just you know know that going into it but i keep my laundry and stuff here and then there's a little extra space for any other shoes or bags or boots or something if i want to put it in there and this collapses down flat has a little rubber thing that goes around it to keep it all hooked together when you're not using it i use it to bring a lot of stuff in from the, from the house out to the camper here are a couple of my bug out things this is my flashlight and power resource little kit that i normally keep on my nightstand but i also keep these flashlights one this one is like mega bright off of amazon this one was my son's and it affixes to a, a rifle it's mega bright i got my headlamp right here i got other you know like an iphone stand iphone charging cord this is another flashlight that has a usb chargers to it i also bought a pack of batteries you're gonna love this that you charge up with these mini usbs but it came with the four thing and there's four batteries in there to be recharged is awesome those go to one of these flashlights here um, that uses you know some bigger batteries these are rechargeable too and some cash money hey how about that i love it when i find cash money this is my jackery battery bag that jackery was so kind to send to me i thank them every day i, I get into this bag i don't usually carry my jackery battery in it but i carry all my phone chargers any kind of charger you can imagine I apologize for the wiggly camera i am not a youtuber i am not an influencer at all but here are some just some charging cords that i keep in there there's a, a power cord that i keep in here here's my jackery battery um the um the H ac plug and in this little bag that came with my battery this gray bag here is the dc plug this red plug is an extension cord so when i'm camping i pull my jackery battery and i'll put it right up here on the shelf and i run this extension cord from there out the side underneath to that side and then i run it up to my car door and put it in so i don't ever have to move my refrigerator but at night i can plug my my lights and stuff in back here so this extension cord is amazing this is just i bought these off of amazon these are just some wild and crazy lights they're magnetic so they stick to stuff and it'll make me a liar here but it does stick so you can put them up in camp and you know have them of course the topper is not magnetic so those are great they make one that like this that folds next time when these die i'm gonna get those um here's some more just some more lights that i had never used yet that i hope to use they're usb powered as opposed to ac powered then let's see this is my actual bug bag i've got some paper towels like for when i'm cooking um this spare light that is magnet also um i need to get batteries for it but i got some wet wipes down there i got i got uh, insect repellent i got some off i got some more um this is waterproofing that i sprayed on my tent i got a mask in there i got some uh, good smelling stuff if things start getting wonky inside the camper and this is vinegar and um dawn and water so i can help uh, easily wash up some of my dishes i tend to wash them all in good soap but um for a quick like my skill my uh non-stick skillets that's a lifesaver all right here going on this orange thing is a tiny little um five pound they call it a a gruller i want to say it's a it's a gas tank it's an lp gas tank and it came with this and this 
hooks up to the hose that's on my cook stove. I'll show you that in a minute. So I could use this with my cook stove or I can use those one pound um, gas containers. I think that's either six or seven gallons of water. I usually pull that out and put it on a stump somewhere so that it's not inside my camper. I have been known to put it on the tailgate right over here so that it kind of pours off the side. But I keep a rug down here on the ground as a rule and I don't want water getting on my rug. Now I fill this up with filtered water. So this is my drinking water as I go. I got it at Walmart. It wasn't, well, it was probably more expensive than I really wanna pay. I wanna say about $8 or $9. And when you stand it up on its hind end back there, cause I stand it vertically, that top will leak. I don't know how to keep it from leaking. I think next time I'll put some like um, saran wrap up in there and see if it'll seal it a little bit better. And as you can see, I got a little lip all the way around the shelf. It's about an inch, inch and a half. I did a divot right there for the water jug, which works really nice. I usually put my keys and my flashlight right there when I'm just around the campsite. I just reach in and set them there. I usually put them up there by my bed when I uh, go to bed at night, but you don't want to leave them up there because that means during the day when you need your keys to get into the truck, you got to climb up all the way in there. And believe me, that gets old quick. That countertop, is six foot six inches long and this is about I'm gonna say about two and a half feet long I hadn't measured it lately and I don't remember the dimensions underneath there you can see the red handle that is a reliance porta potty and I put the handle on there because it's really hard to grab a hold of the handles on the sides that are molded plastic just don't let you get your fingers up underneath it so it's almost impossible to get it out of there especially if it's humid and sticky so I put that handle on it. It's just rope tied in little knots. Um, I've got room for some of these, um, the container store or Ikea little storage bins. And then underneath there, of course, the wheel wells under there, but there's at least six inches of storage under there. And that's a little um, coffee size, you know, a little square 24 inch short table that I use for cooking. I use this little step stool for cooking sometimes and or sitting on. But um, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little black pad there. That's from Ace, and it's like what you kneel on as you're doing gardening work. But I put that on that little stool, or else you rear and start turning after a while. And it's kind of inconvenient to get up from that chair to come over to the cook stove all the time. And I don't want to get food on that chair, so I usually sit on this little stool while I'm cooking. Now, for the fun stuff. This is the tent that you'll see pictures of goes on the back uh, of the trailer here, the truck here. It covers the window and it has bungee cords that you can affix to the handles or underneath the truck or something so that it doesn't blow off from that end and from the, the other end. And then it comes out to here and it's got zippers that go up and down. I'll show you some pictures of those um, hopefully attached near these videos. This I use as a floor inside that green shower tent so that I can change clothes and stuff and not get my feet dirty. Um, I just roll it up and I stand it up over here and I put a bungee cord around all those things to keep them from moving while we're driving. Now for the drawer and the table. You see my two, that's my other window cover that covers the back window. These two are portable folding sawhorses. So when they're folded, it's just this. It's kind of hollow underneath and the legs just fold up and tuck up in there. I turn it upside down with this rubber stuff here and just lay them up on that big long thing up there when I'm driving. Otherwise, you can do this and pull out your table and it will come out. You don't have to have that to make it stand up, but it'll come out up to about three and a half feet and it'll cantilever off the back of the, the um, tailgate. But if you're getting in the drawer, And if you already have your camp stove and you have some bowls and you have some a cutting board and all this stuff going on on this table, but you need something else out of this drawer, that is very inconvenient. So what I've started doing, it's a great place to store the, the tabletop, but I've started There we go, sorry about that. I started using the sawhorses as my tabletop. It's not quite 36 inches high. It's probably more like 30, 32 inches high, but it's more than enough. Put your cook on, 
Then you can get into your drawer. And this drawer is 48 inches long too. This lifts off. It is kind of thick and heavy, but you can use it. I've used it on that as another little table. I've put it on a stump and used that as another table. I've actually put it on a stump and put my water jug on there so that you can set some soap and, and uh, wash rags or stuff on the, the top of it while your water's sitting on it. So it just is very, very useful. And it sits on these, these are aluminum tracks that are screwed on both sides. So that it'll slide all the way to the back. If you're cooking out here, it makes another flat surface so that you can prep stuff. So here we go. We got all kinds of, you know, gadgets and gizmos in here. I got some, uh, some Dawn. These are those um, pellet-like paper towels. I love these, but I also carry regular paper towels. We got a bar of soap. Here again, this sits on that table when I use it for the water. Trash bags. I got the little, um, this little screen thing that goes around the stove to keep the air, to keep it, you know, the wind from blowing it out. And I've discovered that it falls over like crazy. So I put those rare earth magnets, which I keep, I think I've got them stuck. Yeah, there's a whole pile of them right there. I just keep them stuck to the edge of the truck. I'll, they will magnetize to the stove and that'll keep that sucker from falling over. So here's the thing. And when I wrap it around the stove, as that comes out, um, these are cheaper than crap. Um, but it'll magnetize to the stove and those magnets will hold it on, which is awesome. Um, of course, I've got my grill, um, which is highly recommend. They're pricey and now they come in other colors other than orange, which I wish they had when I bought that one. But I'm not going to buy another $85 thing just to get a pretty color. This is a tackle box. I got a Bass Pro Shop and you can see it's got some nice silverware. Now I camp by myself and I don't need that much silverware. It's service for four. What do I care? It all fits in this little thing. I got salt and pepper in there. Um, some little chip clips and some sharp knives. They're like steak knives and a can opener. I have a sharp knife in here somewhere. That is awesome. And you know, you need these for the fire. Um, my big old Bic lighters, my waterproof matches, more salt and pepper. So I got a really nice knife. There it is. I love this knife. Oh my goodness. It's beautiful. Hold it back a little bit. That's a sheath. Isn't that pretty? It's got this wood grain looking thing on it. Wow, it's so pretty. And it's super, super sharp. Got it on Amazon. And uh, I bought it because it had the sheath. And I love it because it has a sheath. Here's my cutting board. Pot holder. I got more pot holders. This is a little cooking set my daughter gave me for my birthday or Christmas or something. And it's, it's you know, like a backpacker's little kit. It has a, some cups in there and has little bowls in there and, um, you know, a pot with the lid. Um, there's my iron skillet. These two are uh, just two different sizes of pots that, that are non-stick. I got them from my brother-in-law and they're awesome. And this is, found this at REI. I love it. Um, and my daughter gave me this. Anybody know what this is? It snaps up. It's like an origami bowl, but it lays totally flat. I love it. It's just awesome. Then back here, I've got the lids for my pots. I got some storage containers. I got some, some bamboo plates that you can put in the microwave. I got some metal cups. I got some, you know, everybody calls these wine glasses, but I call them milk glasses. I don't drink wine, but they sure do keep your cold milk cold. As you can see, I got a trivet down there, more plates. And these bowls are really big. Let's see if I can get those. I mean, they're really big. I got them for like mixing up stuff, and I got some cereal bowls there too. But um, these are just too big to pull out and wash dishes in. I'm probably going to get rid of those. It's too, you know, like a wash water and rinse water, and then a drain board or strainer. Um, they're just too big, so I'm probably going to lose those. But I got more lids and more hot pads and some dish towels and stuff up in there. Um, a scrubby sponge for doing dishes. Um, but they're just too big, so I usually wash dishes in these big pink bowls. This is my drying towel. I got some, ha <laughs> those little guys are so cute. Um, these are little storage bowls, and you can look online, have a lid. It's called Lunch. And you can, um, they pop out, they're, they're the collapsible ones, and they pop out, 
and you can make like quiche and stuff in them and then put them in the refrigerator then you can bring them with you um i thought they were too cute my daughter also bought me this nice little collapsible um tea kettle it's awesome and it works perfect for what i need it's i thought it was gonna be too small but it's not so that works great then we just kind of load everything back down as you can see there's a ton more space in here i could put canned goods and stuff in here but because this drawer does not have uh, um the drawer things on it ugh, as you can set, tell it's a little difficult to close um to open and close it rides i'll show you when i shut the drawer maybe maybe this is better it's got an aluminum track in there and the the table fits inside that aluminum track and the drawer sits on top and I'm thinking about adding some wax or something on the bottom of the drawer to see if it'll slide easier. But it's really not a problem. I've gotten used to the logistics of getting everything out of the drawer before I open it. Now you see here, I could be working over here and I could be setting things up on top of this. And, here, and it also slides back when you forget stuff like that. And this, um, yeah, so it's, you can put your spices and your oils and stuff, stand them up in here. I, I made it wide enough to hold um, the one pound canisters, but I don't use them very often because I have that. But you got room, and I also have some butane that goes with this stove. This is butane or um, propane. And I'm gonna have to take it out to show you. I love this little stove. It does really well. Um, I just kill my hose so your, your butane fits in there i've got it disengaged it fits right in there and there is a um a hose which is probably in the store somewhere that you can take this out you hook the hose here and it goes out here and comes out and i can hook that hose to that hose and cook with propane so my last trip i used that because it was quick and easy that and it fits in there and even this fits in there and I made a special place on my drawer and you're probably wondering why I'm so weird but I made this this hole in my drawer specifically to hold this stove in its case so that boom so that I don't have to try to collate it back into the back into this space with all these dishes and stuff. I can leave those kind of haphazard. But it'll still shut and that always has a home and nothing ever gets in its way. So there you go. Now, I'm gonna put my table back. Let's see if I can get this set up somehow so you can see that. We're hoping. We're not being lucky, but we're hoping. There's a little bit. Oh, I didn't mention this. Sometimes I set my, uh, see that little hole right here? Sometimes I set my water on the ground down there and when I pull out this table, I have a water pump that has a hose that'll fit through this hole so the water pump can sit here and then I can just turn on the water pump and it'll pump water out of the jug. Sometimes I'm lazy and just put the jug on a stump and pour the water out. So it depends on my mood. These little handles are just big enough for my fingers and my fingers are huge. So um, they were from a leather store um, meant to like be the fasteners for a handle on a purse or something. You're supposed to screw little screws through this little tab thing that sticks under there in order to um, affix the ring to the purse and then the strap of course attaches to that with some little hooks that was a i couldn't find anything that didn't need to have a screw all the way through it so that was the perfect fix for that there's my bed now we're going to go to the back part of the bed look at video two 